Okay, so um, I'm releasing my two second AP auto adjust. Um, it's a pretty nice cannon. It's a two second um, that converts to a three or four second if you need for your rules. Um, and then it's a two spot auto adjust. It's just pretty basic. It's just two spots. And uh, I haven't even levered it, so I need to flick the lever. It's um, watered, so it's not protected or anything. So there you go. It's just literally uh, the one and then the two. So um, on crystal, the uh, obby breaker is kind of bad, so like the holes are small. So I, I have to have them a block apart or else I hit old walls. But um, on other servers, you can have them like farther apart, probably like two blocks apart, maybe more. It's like little TPS lag. Jesus, okay. But yeah, it is very reliable. Like, I uh, tested it on as many jars as I could get my hands on, and uh, it works on all of them, so that's cool. Um, it's Archon friendly as well. So, I'll just show the AP as well, so maybe I should have this on. Not sure how far it floats. The AP goes um, 80 chunks, and I'll show how I do that in a second, but there you go. So there's the AP. Very nice. Very pretty. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, yeah, it uses 2100 TNT, and the way I get the AP to go 80 chunks is basically um, most people to get their AP to go farther they just they delay their AP right but um, that can cause problems and also like I'd have to make the boosters like line up with it both timing so um, I didn't want to do that um, so basically what I do instead is I make the power earlier so I wrote it down basically um, in the current timing it will just go from like zero chunks away to 50 chunks. But if you remove a tick from the power, meaning the AP leaves the cannon one tick earlier, so it has one more tick to travel, like that, basically the power goes off one earlier now. And it won't AP close, but it'll AP like 30 chunks away to 80 chunks away, basically. So um, yeah, that's how I solve that problem. It's kind of weird, but... I think it's better than just delaying the AP and it just saves TNT. So um, it works well. It has 120 slab bust, and if you need anti clip, you can just add it like that. Um, and you can also add more slab bust, like more rows on top. It it'll fall in time. Um, it's a 10 game tick efficient obsidian alternating nuke basically, um, and it nukes obsidian quite well, especially like if you have it. Um, I'll go into one that's normal, okay. Yeah, especially if, if it's also auto-adjusting, you can uh, get a pretty wide hole. And this is crystal, so it'll actually be wider. Like, you can probably get, like, five wide and then another two over, so seven wide on most servers. Um, so how I'd usually set this up, this is, like, the two uh, adjust spots. So uh, what I'd do is, like, you just can place blocks and it'll like do both spots. Um, what I would do on a server is um, something like this. So I just make an adjust like that. I just make an adjust like that and then I'd have like every other one one over. So. Yeah, it's a little more confusing when you switch spots, um, and you can just be safe, like, doing either of these. Just uh, don't do that in the middle, or else it'll just hit this, but, yeah. 
maybe get rid of those. But, um, yeah, the AP is on top of the uh, hammer. Um, I just like doing it like that. It's got double boosters, so it's there's nothing that's like double pulsed. I don't like it when there's like one little part that's double pulsed and you have to f worry about that. The barrel is kind of weird the way I did it on this one. It's like this is the little booster TNT and then the power would be here and then on the second like spot um, the power just gets boosted by that over here. So you just need to remember to water that and then in front of the power and then just everywhere because it'll be here as well. Um, and you should be good. So yeah, it's yet to blow on any jars. Like I haven't found a jar that it doesn't like, so that's good. So yeah, I in the past I did like these double boosters. Like I did two sided zero eyes, but now I just do this. I literally have two normal ones and then just five at a time, and then the bottom five they're just separate. So yeah. Um, and then I guess it's about it. Like the other thing is, um, this has a double booster as well. And, uh, there's like a little booster on top to stop it from, um, like kicking back up and exploding at the top. So, um, it just, this little booster shoots it back down to the bottom. Um, so just water, you have to water twice in this, just there and there. And also has a banner here. I'm not sure if you need it, probably, but yeah, I don't know. And the, uh, actually the shot itself goes like 120 chunks. So after you're out of range of the AP, it's fine. Um, it'll just keep going. Uh, it's not the most compact thing ever. It's like 20 wide. And uh, to make it safe for some jars, I do it, I do the boosters like this. So you do have to water them individually like so just also remember that and yeah um and then i did the uh i did it without glass just so you can like go in easily i guess so but yeah so that's the cannon um this would be like that's three seconds you just make it three on everything and then that's four seconds and uh yeah see ya